60 seconds, vehicle is on internal control. First stage LOX tank is pressing. First stage fuel tank is pressing. Upper stage tanks have gone to lift off pressures. Thirty seconds. Fifteen. Ten seconds, water system on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, zero. First motion. First motion. Our next objective is Max Q. Looks like we're getting some really great footage from our onboard cameras. Rocket has cleared the island. Approaching nominal gun range trajectory, tracking. And at this point, we should have also passed max Q, which is the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. This is a significant milestone and the most physical stress the vehicle will experience during launch. Our next milestone is MECO, or main engine cutoff, which is about 30 seconds away. Vehicle is passing through max Q. Terminate sent. Terminate received. And as you might have seen, there appears to have been an anomaly with the vehicle in flight. And we will first and foremost ensure that our team and others are safe. We, create, we take great safety precautions to ensure that no one was put in danger by an event like this. It does look like we got about two and a half minutes of flight data, which will be incredibly helpful as we make improvements to our next vehicle on our way to reaching orbit. And any flight where we get some data that we can learn from is uh, is a successful one in our mind. Although we, 
Although we did not achieve our primary objective today, our team will work hard to determine what happened here. And as we dig into the flight data, we are optimistic about the future and our next attempt. Let's go ahead to some quick words from Astro's founder and CEO, Chris Kemp. Today, after a successful launch and liftoff, Astro's launch vehicle experienced an anomaly in flight. While we regret that we were unable to accomplish all mission objectives for the Space Force, our team captured a tremendous amount of data from the flight. We will work closely with the FAA to complete a mishap investigation. Behind me is LV-0007, which will be updated based on what we learned from the flight so we can begin servicing our backlog of over 50 contracted launches. I want to thank our team here at Astra, our partners at the Pacific Spaceport Complex, and I also want to thank our government customers and partners, the Department of Defense, the United States Space Force, the Defense Innovation Unit, FAA, FCC, the Coast Guard, and the community of Kodiak, Alaska. We look forward to seeing you at our next launch. For now, that is going to conclude our live coverage of the LV-0006 mission. Uh, I want to give a big thank you to Ashta for allowing us to sh be very transparent about today's test flight. And just a big thank you for today's partnership and bringing live coverage of the mission. A big thank you to you, Carolina, for joining me as well. Thanks, Thomas. It's not what we were hoping for today, but thanks for having us. And uh, we hope to be back on the pad again soon. Absolutely. From all of us in NASA Space Flight, the well wishes to the Astro team, hoping to see them back on the pad soon. For all of you watching, thank you so much for joining us. Stay tuned for more Space Flight News coverage. Until next time, see you then.